Hello, my name is Bill White, and I'm running for re-election to the Somerville Board of Aldermen as an alderman at large. The next Board of Aldermen will make important decisions on issues that will determine the future of Somerville for decades to come in critical areas such as zoning, development, and managing the city's increasing debt. So your vote is especially important this November. I would like to take this opportunity to ask you for your vote in this upcoming election so that together we can move Somerville forward as we address these important issues. Like many people, my values were set in my youth. I grew up in Somerville, a few blocks away from Union Square, near one of the last operating slaughterhouses in Somerville. It was a blue-collar neighborhood where folks knew one another and helped one another out. There really was a true sense of community because of the help that I received while I was a student at Somerville High School. I was able to go to Harvard College and then Georgetown Law School. I served as a law clerk to a federal judge and then went on to practice law. I have my law office in Davis Square and I'm completing my 20th year as an alderman at large. My experience as a youth in Somerville helped shape the values that I have brought to the Board of Aldermen during these years of service. These values include the preser preservation of our residential neighborhoods from dense development that could drive out our residents, the promotion of good commercial development that will help take the burden off of our residential taxpayers and renters and bring good jobs to our city, the creation of a mix of affordable housing so that broad segments of our city can find an affordable place to live, and the continuation of solid progress in moving our school system forward to becoming one of the best urban districts in the state. By taking these steps, we can help maintain that sense of community that is historic to Somerville and accommodate the broad interests of all of our diverse residents as our city changes. You know, people may say those are nice statements and most people will probably agree but let me describe how I have put those values into action for the benefit of some of those people during my service on the Board of Aldermen. If you go down to Assembly Row with the beautiful waterfront, mixed-use buildings, and the tea stop, along with the construction of new buildings, including the hotel, people are generally impressed. Originally, that area was going to be developed like a big box center, similar to the Gateway Mall in Everett with large retail stores and a huge parking lot. I thought that was a horrible idea that would have wasted our waterfront and our valuable land. So I said, let's fight for a T-stop with good mixed-use development that will bring housing, office space, commercial tax revenue, and jobs to our city. As a result, I introduced legislation that led to the planning for Assembly Square, and what we see today is a result of that. When I first ran, I said I wanted to help some of those resident property owners with their taxes. This not only would assist landlords, but also their tenants by keeping their rents lower, by help keeping landlords' expenses lower. Right now, Somerville homeowners receive a 35% residential tax break on their bills. That is the highest in the state. When I was elected, it was at 17%, and I got the city to move it to 20% which was the maximum allowed by law at the time. I then moved to file a home rule petition to get permission from the state legislature to increase it to 30%, which passed. I then worked with the administration to increase it to the 35% it is today. For this year, this exemption saves a Somerville taxpayer $2,747. Similarly, we are all concerned with the rising water and sewer bills, and I introduced legislation at the board to also provide a residential exemption for water and sewer rates, which is before the state legislature. If this is passed, it will also help our Somerville homeowners and renters by reducing water and sewer bills. I recently introduced a zoning amendment to make sure that the city uses at least 68% of the area in certain non-residential areas of our city, like Assembly Square and the Inner Belt, for good commercial development, such as office and biotech. This will help guarantee that we will use our valuable remaining land for high-end commercial development that will bring good paying jobs and increase our commercial tax base 
to take the burden off of our homeowners and to provide us with the funds to pay for future expenses, such as our new high school. Because I believe it is important to preserve our neighborhoods, during my years on the Board of Aldermen, I have stood with neighbors and opposed proposed developments that would have adversely impacted those neighbors on numerous occasions, from one end of Somerville to the other. I drafted the city's pay-to-play ordinance, which is one of the most restrictive campaign finance laws in the country, which limits the ability of those who do business with the city and who develop large projects to contribute funds to elected officials. But I also believe that it is important to listen to residents and respond to their individual concerns. I pride myself on returning phone calls and emails and constituent services from potholes to problem properties and everything in between. Recently, I received a number of complaints from some of our residents about air traffic noise and how they believed that it had gotten worse. Because these air flights were going until midnight and then starting up early the next morning, people were unable to even get a decent night's sleep. For the people in the areas of Somerville impacted by this air traffic, this is an important quality of life problem because the noise is so loud, folks cannot open their windows and have a conversation or watch TV or use their decks or enjoy their backyard. After listening to those concerns, I spent hours researching runway use from Logan Airport and discovered that during the last 75 days, the majority of late night and early morning departures from Logan Airport have taken off over Somerville, so that on almost one half of those evenings during that 75-day period, there was six hours or less between the last flight out at midnight or later and the first flight out at 5.15 a.m. As a result, I asked the Board of Aldermen to authorize me to send a letter to the Administrator of the Federal Aviation Administration informing him of this practice and asking for relief on behalf of the residents of the City of Somerville, and that letter went out yesterday. I bet you agree that one of the best ways to predict how someone will perform in the future is to see how they have performed in the past. I believe that my past actions provide a firm guarantee that I have the ability to grasp the important issues that our city faces and understanding of the complex factors involved in those issues to make the sound decisions necessary for our city to prosper. I also believe that my past actions provide a firm guarantee that I have the interest and the ability to listen to our residents and implement solutions that benefit us all. If you agree, I would ask, and I would be honored if you would give me one of your votes for Alderman at Lodge so that together we can move forward for the benefit of the people of the city of Somerville. Thank you.